Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time, we tore the crack in a new one. And in this episode, we're exploring Crossbone Island, an optional area in the game. I'm pretty sure they don't expect you to explore this area until way later in the game. But where's the fun in that? I'd rather do it now instead of wait until later. It's kind of the opposite of how I handle things in real life now that I think about it. I'm a big procrastinator, viewers. I'm not proud! Okay, well there's the entrance to the uh, dungeon proper. But I don't want to go in there quite yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are no random en encounters anywhere on the island. But I am pretty sure we can grab these nuts! One coin. Really? Really. That's not even funny! It's just... it's just rude is what it is. slide down this one and get the last chest out here. A mint! Save that for later. There's, Like I said before, there's going to be a time where I need very specific speed values, and that's really going to help. And this is Crossbone Island, the dungeon proper. Okay, now, before you walk up to that door, uh, I'll just tell you the way Crossbone Island works is that there's a series of steps with doors leading into special puzzle rooms, uh, and in order to enter the doors, there's not necessarily a boss fight, but yeah, pretty much there's a boss fight at every single door, uh, and the enemies there are end-game level difficult enemies. Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to take them on as I am right now. Well, at least I'm not going to, I'm, I'm just not that good. I do know people who, well, I've heard that people are good enough uh, to do it, I mean, just apparently you can beat the final boss at levels near where I am now, but I'm not going to. Anyway, uh, put Forge in on set for everyone, and walk up here. We've got two Viragos and a Hobgoblin. Uh, I never actually wrote down the stats for these uh, enemies, because I figure I'll just talk about them later when they become relevant. Easiest way to take care of uh, all of these uh, boss fights is just to use level 4 summons. Uh, this is where I said uh, earlier in the game where I was going to be using level 4 summons to survive. Yeah, this is that time. So let's summon the God of Thunder! Okay, that just sounds really painful. Huh, I guess Isaac outsped me at this time. I was hoping to see Boreas, but I guess not this time. And you don't need to worry about having your Jin all go into st uh, standby mode, because there are no random enemies. That one was fairly easy. Others, not so much. Anyway. So yeah, every time you clear off one of the bosses, there's a special puzzle room that you get to go through. Okay, that is not what I meant to do. Lots of treasure in these puzzle rooms, too. Like these nuts. Okay, that's not the treasure I was looking for. These nuts is not a treasure. Trust me, the, the, the treasures get better. Now, you can't actually finish all of Crossbone Island at this point in the game. But you can get a large percentage of the way through Crossbone Island at this point in the game. Oh yeah, and the bosses don't come back, so don't worry. I suppose that should be fairly obvious, but... I don't know, just in case you were wondering. 
111 coins is better than one stinking coin. I love the idea of Crossbone Isle, though. Just a huge string of dungeon or er, puzzles. Puzzles. And more puzzles. I won't stop until I solve them all! Okay. It seems that I have taken a wrong turn. Indeed I have. Doing Crossbone Island without a guide. You would be surprised at how not easy it is. Whatever. I may not be the best at puzzles, but I'll get there eventually. Heck, if I can make my way through Twilight Princess without using a guide except for like two occasions, then I can give a hard nut to Mia. No. No. Just kidding. Let's see, who can use it the most? Mia! Okay, I guess I didn't have a hard nut to Mia. Well, whatever. Now let's get to the exit. Oh, did I screw up again? Whoops. thought of it that way. Now how do I get back is the question. No, that's not it. Oh, duh, right over here. Okay, you gotta kind of circle the wagons a little bit. Here we go, made it. That wasn't so hard. Nuts. I forgot to look up how much uh, HP this guy has, but I think I'll just summon this guy and be done with it. Apparently Mia's days about speeding Isaac are over. So Boreas is an ice machine. Or an ice grinder. Okay. Well, nothing beats the seer shadow. The sheer satisfaction, no, the sheer satisfaction of dropping a giant space rock on someone's head. Fortunately, this also means I kind of have to walk around a bit until my gin get reset, but oh well. Kind of reminds me of chasing my own tail in Okami. Still one away. There we go. This is the one place uh, in the game that I will suspend my soft ban on uh, summon rushing. Just FYI. 
these battles would be much too difficult uh, otherwise. Okay, so we've got two Grizzlies and a Succubus. Gross. Because as we all know, in RPGs, bears are stronger than everything. I probably should skip the animation for these. The Thors just look so awesome. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Ow. Yeah, grind that ice. I have no explanation for this. Hopefully this kills some or all of them, or I'm going to be in a world of pain. Well, as long as you don't hit Ivan. Thank you! Storm. Wow. And Tornado. Nice. Okay, we may want to heal. Fortunately, I don't have anything better to spend my uh, PP on. You know, too bad elixirs don't do what they do in Pokemon. Two, two, two coins this time. And some Lucky Pepper. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the Lucky Pepper yet, so I'm not going to use it. Anyway, in this room, we've got Log Rolling Physics. And they're better than Okami's Ball Pushing Physics, at least. better at log pushing than jumping. And we get a mystery blade. Um, I hope this weapon isn't cursed. There are some weapons in here that are cursed. You know what? I think I'll actually give this weapon to Garrett instead. Give him something good to use. Why not? Uh, yeah, that's a long sword, so no one else can really use it. Just organize everyone's inventory. Okay, let's get out of here. Hmm, was it nearly as tough as the last one? And we'll just set our gin standby and keep on moving. What do we got here? Two fiendish ghouls and a lich. I'd say something about Wrath of the Lich King, but I've never actually played World of Warcraft before, so. Oh well. Let's just move this along. Obviously, you want to stay on top of your HP. Okay, so in this room, we've got jumping again. And we got some keys. Now we 
we got a circle over here. Yeah, there's a key in the middle there. So we can't get to that quite yet. Hmm. Well, since I don't know the solution off the top of my head, I'm just gonna keep hopping around like an idiot until I figure it out. That's how I solve most things. Oh! No, you're not supposed to keep hopping around like an idiot, are you? Because if I remember, I think... Yes, you can! All you really need is a uh, catch synergy. Can't reach that one. We need to be on one of the platforms to the sides over there. I don't know how you're supposed to know to use catch synergy on those. Heck, I, I barely even understand how I knew to use catch synergy on those. Can I use it from here? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Close, but no cigar. Oh well. That one we can reach just from right here. How cool would it be to have synergy like this in, in real life? Like, you could just be like, Aw oh man, the remote's all the way over there. Sh yoink! kind of reminds me of something I saw on the internet. If humanity had the power to fly, we'd be too lazy to fly. <laughs> something like that. Ah, oh, here we go. Can we reach it from here? Yes, indeed. But I have to drop something first. Nuts. Uh, let's get rid of these adept clothes. You get a smoke bomb. A cookie, which I'll definitely be using. And a fairy ring. Forget what that does. And more money. Mo money, mo problems. I'm gonna need to sell my inventory soon enough. Acts like an elixir in battle, so I can cure delusion stun and sleep. Okay, might as well equip it. Maximum PP. I'm gonna hold off on that until everyone's got their gym back. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a good idea. And now let's use the red key and get through here to the exit. Quick exit. And now we've got another boss time. Hey, anytime we can hear boss music is a good time. This is gonna hurt. Well, at least they didn't both attack us. Chill out, dudes. Oh god, that was horrible. And last but not least, Meteor! Hopefully this kills them. I might be slightly underleveled because of all the running I've been doing. <laughs> to save on time. 
Eh, I got them all the same. Oh, nuts. Yeah, I think... Yeah. We're a little on the stuck end of the spectrum. See, these statues will keep moving around whenever they see you. Uh, this one we can actually get past. If we use the halt synergy. You can get a smoke bomb over there. The same goes for the other statue too. Uh, but the ones on the vertical areas, we can't get past using the halt synergy. They're just too fast for us. We'd have to have some way of being able to move around in this area unseen, but sadly, we have no such item yet. So this is where our uh, trip through Crossbone Island will end. Oh well. Uh, we will have a chance of coming back here much later in the game, and uh, there's a reason why these are end game level enemies after all. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll come back soon enough. Let's give that cookie... Let's give it to Isaac. Even though Garrett's probably going to have less PP in the long run, Isaac's uh, Ragnarok is going to end up being much stronger just because of uh, the weapons Isaac gets. He generally gets uh, the better weapons, so... Eh. Okay, so now that we've done all we can now, Make sure you've collected everything you wanted to collect. Uh, mostly the new weapon that we got is probably the most important part. You can head back to the totally bound ship. See, so yeah, once you come back to the totally bound ship and say, yeah, everything's all clear, yeah, we gotta leave. No matter what you do, even if you decide to go through the Total Bound Ship sequence uh, without ending up at Crossbone Isle, uh, events in the plot progress exactly the same, no matter how fast you get to Tolby. So don't worry about it. This way gets you treasure. Although it is kind of weird seeing me run out of inventory space in a Golden Sun game. Usually that never happens to me. Mm. Mm, I might need to sell off some stuff when we get to Tolby. Land ho! And this time it's actually Tolby. Hooray! We made it to the Tolby port! Without getting accosted by mobs and monsters. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old guy nearly got left behind, and then we forced him to row a boat. Oh well. His efforts did not go in vain. Alright. Yeah, so we can't go back to the Totally Bound ship after that. This looks suspicious. Well, I was gonna head off to Tolby Town proper so I could end the episode, but a box, uh, a box arrangement like that? Nah, that's too suspicious, even for me. A uh, potion. Nothing spectacular. Oh well. Mm. Alright, let's get out of here. And the town of Tolby proper, or the city of Tolby, is right over here! 
There's a lot of stuff we can do in Tolby. Uh, quite a few mini games to play, new equipment to get, probably, uh, and gin to find in the next episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. See you guys then!